Hi, I'm Maura Neal. I'm a realtor in Atlanta, Georgia, and it's April, which means that it is Fair Housing Month. But more importantly, it's 2018, which means it is the 50th anniversary of the Fair Housing Act, which was signed into law by President Lyndon Johnson in 1968. I wanted to say a couple things today about fair housing and how it affects you if you are uh, thinking of buying or selling a home, and also maybe clear up some misconceptions about the protected classes under the Fair Housing Act and what that could mean to you as a buyer or seller. So the first thing to know is that there are seven federally protected classes under the Fair Housing Act. Those are race, color, religion, national origin, sex, disability, and familial status. Disability referring to physical or mental disability. And familial status, uh, the one that I think the most confusion kind of lies around, is not necessarily protecting you based on marital status. So you're not protected if you're single or if you're married, um, unless you meet further family criteria, which is the presence of at least one child under the age of 18, or that you are pregnant or in the process of adopting a child. So those are the seven federally protected classes under fair housing. Race, color, religion, national origin, sex, disability, and familial status. Now, um, some municipalities and some states may have additional protected classes, and you should always ask your real estate agent if there are any other ones that you need to keep in mind. It's also worth noting that the National Association of Realtors Code of Ethics has two additional protected classes that realtors must keep in mind, and that is gender, identity, and sexual orientation. So those are the two additional protected classes under the Realtor Code of Ethics. Now, how does this relate to you if you are a buyer or a seller in a real estate transaction? If you're selling a home and you you need to keep in mind that the real estate agent that's assisting you with the sale can't market specifically to or discriminate against any of those protected protected classes. So for example, if you are walking distance to the synagogue or the neighborhood has a, a high percentage or a high number of people of a certain religion or race or national origin, we can't market based on those criteria or, or mention those protected classes in our marketing. That's definitely a violation of fair housing. If you're purchasing a home and you want to be in a neighborhood that have a lot of people that has a lot of people just like you, similarly, your agent can't steer you in that direction. However, your realtor would uh, a good realtor will have a lot of great resources that can assist you with finding out information that'll get you into a home and a neighborhood that you're very happy with. Or if you feel that you have been uh, discriminated against or that you've been a victim of a violation of the Fair Housing Act, the Department of Housing and Urban Development has a lot of great resources that can help you to file a complaint and they do take those claims very seriously. For more information about uh, finding out how to file a complaint based on fair housing, you can visit our website buysellliveatlanta.com, click on blog and search under the terms fair housing. If you have questions about buying or selling a house, or you'd like more information about the Fair Housing Act and how it relates to your real estate transaction, reach out to us anytime. Buy, sell, live, Atlanta .com or give us a call. Happy Fair Housing Month!